Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're going to keep tracking seismic activity. We've got eye candy from the Curiosity rover, two big scientific reports out on key observer topics, but we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star. It was a pretty quiet day. We did take minor flares, but they were confined to the limbs where the sunspots are found for the most part. As we enter the weekend, that second coronal hole solar wind enhancement will arrive and we'll be watching for a flaring uptick. And not just from the big sunspots coming in on the south, which have some complexity, but near center disk where a group was born and growing quickly. Luckily, it's past center disk, so only really one or two days of Earth-directed eruption threats. We're watching that one today. Let's go to Greece, where the seismic swarm took it up yet another level. Still hitting magnitude 5, but there's a lot higher frequency to the shaking now. Still think it's a fair moment for residents to visit somewhere else on the planet for a while. Up next, they say that the Mars Curiosity rover has spotted strange red and green clouds full of dry ice. They haven't seen these clouds anywhere else on Mars, they say, just this one spot. Curiosity indeed. Folks, we've got a fascinating follow-up to one of my favorite papers last year. I'd been screaming for five years that the polar radar echoes were highly solar driven and increasing in recent decades due to the magnetic pole shift letting more of that solar energy in. Today we get a top-level thesis on the mesospheric echoes and their tie-in with solar activity. This not only requires the particle forcing to be appreciated, which climate models need in a big way, but the increase in exposure to that forcing as Earth's magnetic field weakens is now the primary candidate for culpability. Lastly on the article front, major hydroclimate shift, throwing the monsoon out of place, causing major lake systems to dry up. It was a nearly unthinkable change in just a few decades. It was during the same event that flooded other areas while turning this into a desert in Noah's time, when the Tianqi excursion was unfolding 6,000 years ago. Folks, add this to the magnetic data, the Green Saharan Surge, the volcanoes, and now another hydroclimate chaos example from the last cycle disaster event. Next one in the next 25 years. Folks, come on out to Observer Ranch. Lots going on every month. Check out the events page at ObserverRanch.com. And of course, we have our big events as well. Every month, we have a deep dive on the disaster cycle and the pole shift. We've got grand opening with Dr. Robitaille at the end of April, Kings of Catastrophe with Dr. Dunning early May. Pick a time to come see us. It starts at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.